Senate Bill number 241 by Senator Morrell. <clears throat> it is an act of entitled 40 to write rather the crime penalties for marijuana possession. Thank you very much. Senate Bill 241 is the product of a year of working with stakeholders in the law enforcement, nonprofit, and think tank community on how we could better structure our marijuana law so that it still has its it still accomplishes its purpose of being a deterrent, but is done in a way that is more humane. As many of you may know, our current marijuana law, the way it's structured, a first offense of marijuana is a misdemeanor under current law. A second offense of marijuana, a possession of marijuana, is up to eight years in jail. And the third possession of marijuana under current law is up to 20 years in jail. And that's, that's not me misspeaking. That's third offense is 20 years in jail. Um, that is 20 times higher than all of our neighboring states. Uh, the proposed bill in front of you does not make us in line with our neighboring states. Um, it is still a law that puts us at the forefront of having some of the harshest penalties in the country in regards to marijuana. But what it does do is it makes the law accomplish its goal of being a deterrent while making it something that does not, A, cost the state a tremendous amount of money, and B, make the system more holistic so that individuals who are young people that make mistakes are not facing felony drug convictions that make it impossible for them to find jobs. The previous law said that possession was for one, for one centilla up to 60 pounds. That makes absolutely no sense as far as the law in regards to possession of marijuana. 60 pounds of marijuana is not possession, it's something else. Um, the first thing we did with working with the DA Association is we changed the law so that basic possession is now up to two and a half pounds. Once you get above two and a half pounds, we have created a whole new section of law which has a mandatory minimum, which did not exist in the law previously, of two years and a maximum of ten years. So we have carved out the portion that deals with people who are dealing with large sums of marijuana in possession. For first possession, the law is bifurcated. If you're below 14 grams, if you have a joint or two or three, the penalty is now 15 days in jail and a $250 fine. That will be the new law. If you have an amount that is in excess of two of 14 grams up to two and a half pounds, it is a misdemeanor which retains current law. Second offense is a misdemeanor. Third offense is a felony up to four years. And fourth offense, the highest offense, is a felony up to eight years in jail. So, like I said, if you look at the information provided to you on, on your desks, most of our neighboring states max out at a year for possession of marijuana. The proposed law still has us eight times higher than that. But eight times higher is certainly better than 20 times higher than all of our neighboring states.